All right, chip of the day. This one's from On Semiconductor. I had a friend who used to work there. Um, MBRD835L, a switch mode power rectifier. So switch mode means it's kind of wacka wacka on and off. Um, so you can think of this as used in some type of switching power supply. Uh, but they would also be good for catching high speed pulses from motors, you know, uh, clamping things and stuff. Uh, power rectifier uses a shocky barrier diode. Um, it's uh, one of these little uh, these little packages here. What are they called? In case uh, D pack three six nine C. Anyway, you know the type over here. But they have the they have the middle leg cut off because we're going to be using the power tab on on the other side. Um, and if you look here, this is the uh, pinout, right? So one, three, four. That means that uh, these two are common, and that's the output. So it's sort of like this. You go in here and out here. So these are used together to get the current up. And it is 8 amps. And it's even more than that. So, yeah, we'll take a look at the data sheet here. Um, yeah, nothing much on this page. Let's go... To Let's go to the next one. Now here's some interesting numbers. Let's zoom in here. Uh, peak reverse voltage, fine, 35 volts. Average, uh, eight amps. Okay, so eight amps average, but remember this thing kind of be using a pulse mode. So if it's repetitive uh, square wave, a 20 kilohertz square wave, so it's on half of the time, you get double the current, so it's 16 amps. Um, but if you just pulse it once in a while, like maybe a switch mode power supply, and you really uh, need to have some high current on some big pulses, maybe when there's a sag in the power or whatever, 75 amps. So this thing will take 75 amp pulses before it blows itself up. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Even the reverse direction, it says here, uh, two amps yeah this thing's pretty pretty tough i don't think this one's made anymore but you can find uh you can find uh chips that look that look just like this um let's see here typical yeah we'll do typical forward voltage and eight amps would be up here let's see we're going to be at 25 c although it's probably going to warm up so we're going to be kind of kind of in this area here okay and that's going to be around 0.4 volts so um Four volts forward current. It sounds like a shot key. And yeah, nothing much else. Nothing much else going on. But I say we put this thing on the curve tracer and try to uh, try to put some amps through it. Uh, I've put it on a little uh, PC board here and have it hooked up to the machine. Uh, so let's uh, let's take a look here. Let me kind of square this up. All right, sorry about the shadows in this place, but it is what it is. Um, so we are going to sweep this thing and we are set to one amp per division. One, two, three, four, five. So it's 10 amps uh, vertically if I go up all the way. And it is 100 millivolts per division. So 100 millivolts, 200. Let's see here. Let's, let's see if I can make this a little better. There we go. 100, 200, 300, 400 millivolts, we're at one amp, 400 millivolts. So that's 0.4, here's 0.5. So I don't think this thing's meeting data sheet. Um, if we go up here to eight amps, so here's eight amps. Um, we are at 0.8 volts. Um, which is not data sheet, so I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Um, if we just have a lot of, uh, a lot of drop. Let's see if I can put a Kelvin connection on this. Uh, let's see here. So the, let's zoom out here. Okay, so the way this thing is set up there is, uh, sense lines here. So these are the force lines and this is the sense line. So I'm going to put I'm going to put sense lines up here on the part. And oh yeah, there we see. See, we went, it went up. Oh, there we go. So what we were what we were seeing there is drops in in the wires at eight amps. So um, so yeah, be aware of that. The way the way these machines are 
is there is one row here that says sense. It actually is marked on the uh, marked on the on the board here. So if we put sense lines on it, we're making a Kelvin contact. So we're making sure that that we are uh, the conditions are correct right here where these test leads are. So yeah, there we go. So we are meeting spec now at eight amps. Let's see here. At eight amps, we are about point. 3.8, 0.38 volts. So yes, def definitely we have met the data sheet. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Can we take up the 10? Sure, why not? Doesn't care. Yeah, this thing's heavy duty. Um, it might be starting to getting hot. Let's see here at eight, and it's it's a pulsed pulsed eight amps, right? Because this thing's sweeping up and sweeping down, sweeping. Up. It's a sign so it'll sweep up, sweep down. So we can go to 10 amps just fine because this thing should be good for. Uh, 16 amps at the, here. So we'll put it at 10 amps and we will uh, use a um, IR camera and get a get a, a picture. Now there's no heat sink on this at all. Um, so we'll see how hot it's getting. All right. So right now we're at 104 degrees. Yeah, it's pretty toasty up there. Let's ramp it down back down to uh, 8 volts. And we'll see how it's see how it's doing here. Yeah, it's already dropping 199. Yeah, it's doing quite doing quite well. I mean, even at 110, it's going to be fine. Whenever something gets above 120, I start to get really worried. But at these these uh, um, temperatures, with the type of package and the type of um, use that I know has been designed into these parts. This thing is uh, is acting just fine, 100, 100 C. We could probably look at the data sheet and look at, uh, try to find some uh, temperature temperature plots on this thing. Let's see here. Uh, current heat sink. Um, da, 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 da. Here we go. Ambient. Oh, it's ambient. Case temperature. Here's case temperature. Uh, yeah, see, 125 is where the thing starts to fail. And uh, average power consumption, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I mean, you know, around 110, this thing's, this thing's very, very happy there. So no problem at all at 8 amps here. Anyway, let's, uh, let's play with that, that uh, Kelvin contact again. We'll remove the Kelvin contact. Boom! And when you see a straight line, that means it's resist resistive, okay? A resistor plots along a straight line. And this thing should be a semiconductor and should plot along a curve. So that's another clue. If you see a straight line, you, you might have some resistance somewhere in the circuit. All right, that was chip of the day. It was an MBRD835L. Uh, yeah, I love these shocky diodes.